All right, folks, it is update time here in Beam and G Drive. And you're probably thinking to yourself, I'm gonna show this car off first. Well, no, I'm gonna show off the logs first because folks, we got some more diesels. Wow, look at those beauties. We got the T-Series Remake Part 2. And no, we're not gonna ignore the BX Remaster. Also, we have a cinematic crash cam, speed cameras, and West Coast USA has a bit of an update as well. So we got a bit to cover here. Oh, the phones, this thing still run? Yo, okay, well, I mean, kind of. It honestly sounds like a World War II, like, prop engine now. I don't think that's actually quite normal. Um, this is the Diana, by the way. Or I believe the Diana Turbo. So yeah, I guess I should probably take this thing out for a spin before we check out some of the new T-Series. Now, one of the first things you're probably gonna notice is you guys hit the thumbs up button and listen to the sound on this. Man, that is, uh, it's actually quite lovely sounding. There's quite a few uh, new configurations. There's a lot of like hidden things that I don't even think were in the patch notes uh, with this update. Oh my goodness. And yeah, this was just a car I never really played with a lot. I mean, no hate to the car. It's just one of those things where you looked at it. It's like, oh, this isn't like the thing that excites me when it comes to cars, but besides hitting the wall there, I must say the remaster here is actually quite lovely. So we're gonna park this thing. Now you are gonna notice that it's definitely a different body style on the Diana. So if we go over to the menus, and here we go, it's just the BX series. So you have the Diana, which is more of like a coupe. Not sure how I feel, like I like it in some senses, and in other senses I feel like either a teenager's driving these today or a grandma. But that's not to say that this thing couldn't be modified to be a beast. I mean, there are some really good configurations for that. You got your right-hand side drive, You've got the lovely like 80s, 90s style dashes, which are pretty much being phased out for tablets these days. You got the awful looking like wheel covers here. Uh, is this actually a hubcap or is this the wheel? I, I can't really tell. I might have to rip that off. But overall, it gets the job done. A lovely car. Uh, one thing to note, uh, I'm hoping this is gonna be a thing with all cars. Hold on, let's go shut the door here. Look at those mirrors. Uh, you actually have the new detailed mirrors. So you can actually see the side of the vehicle very clear. Uh, I do like that, which I think maybe I can bump it up even more. I believe I have it towards like the max settings right now. That way it's really a uh, pretty high resolution. You pop the hood here. So yeah, I think I like the other, I guess it's considered the hatchback model a little bit more, uh, but it is nice seeing a new style here uh, with the coupe. Now the coupe's higher up configurations, uh, they do get pretty spicy. So if we scroll down to the bottom, uh, you'll notice uh, there is a police variant here for the Diana. There's a rally, which I'm trying to picture in my head if that even existed before. Uh, you had the GTZ Turbo, which was what we started the video in, which is the Diana. And then there's a V Special, which has the more traditional hatch look. So I do want to pull this thing out real quick. Also, I feel like something zoomed in my FOV a little bit. Uh, I'll have to go back to the camera settings. Uh, maybe it had something to do with the new... Uh, crash cam that they've added, which we are going to check that out here in just a second. Uh, it is quite lovely. It does remind me a lot of the Burnout games, but I must say, I, I think I'm going to start using this thing more. The handling is actually quite lovely on these, and I don't know if there's really been any revisions to that per se, but I mean, it's just a fun car to throw around, just a fun car to spin out. You think you know what you're doing while drifting and then immediately flying off a cliff I like a total dingus. But yeah, I, I must say the sounds are quite lovely on the car. Uh, it just sounds, it sounds almost clearer. Uh, so it does sound like you get like almost like a bit of reverb with it. I, I don't know, there's just something like really, really awesome about the sound. Uh, let's just go ahead and lock it down here. Uh, let's go ahead and grab another one of these. So yeah, you got a street tune, track, there's a drag racing version of it, which looks pretty cool. And then you have the Pro Drift, which does have a V8 motor in it. I have to actually check which motor is in here. Uh, this thing's actually really sweet looking on the inside. There's a lot of uh, really fine details too. Like even some of the paint chipping uh, in the roll cage here. Uh, I do really, really like this. So we're gonna totally pro drift. You know, I might as well go ahead and turn it on by the way. You go into options, go to camera, and then right here, cinematic crashes in free roam mode. Now I've seen these, and plus you probably saw it in the intro, uh, an actual hit with another car, which is pretty cool. I haven't tried to see if it activates when you hit the, say the environment or the guardrails. Uh, you obviously pro, oh my goodness. Yeah, you don't want it going off every five seconds. That would be kind of like a pain in the rear end, but I think it's with like major impacts uh, that it will happen. All right, let's go ahead and just slide this thing. 
You know, I actually kind of want to try this on my sim rig. Because uh, I have never been a drifter. Like, I can't even get a drift machine sideways, like, you know, proper. Yeah, it's bad as I feel like I slide, like, the non-proper drift machines better than I do the actual, like, purpose-built drift machines. So I'm not going to sit here and, like, stay with this thing and pretend like I know what's going on here. Got an awesome V8 swap in there. I mean, it's fast. Uh, when you get up to a corner, hold on, here we go. Cinematic cam. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, it does activate with the environment. Oh, and come on, activate again. <laughs> This is why you don't let me drift. But I will say I can do one thing, and that's going in a straight line really fast. So yes, there is a sweet new drag version of this. Not on a prep drag track here, but we're gonna do some uh, street racing. Oh man, I love a good drag variant. Uh, we got the NOS on. Let's see, trans brake is enabled. Uh, it's going to go in a drive, and let's go. A surprising amount of grip, even on the uh, just the plain road surface here. Oh, this thing would hook on a drag strip. Oh, we're about to use that cinematic cam again. Oh, uh, turn, 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 turn. Okay, it didn't enable that time. Um, jeez. <laughs> yeah, definitely want to take that to a drag strip, but it has a surprising amount of grip, even on just a normal surface. Uh, I do love it. Uh, very nice. So, another thing I do want to go over, there are new props in the game. It mostly, it seems like it's a bunch of different log presets. Which, if you scroll down, you'll notice you logs. There's 20 different ones there. Uh, the large tires, I don't remember. I want to say those might have been here, but I could be completely wrong. There's a big steel coil here. That's a, a new one. But let's talk about logs. Uh, there is a lot of detail put into these logs. You have different styles of wood, different load types. I feel like the devs really love wood. So, uh, let's talk about probably my favorite new configuration here with the T-Series. Yes, it is a cement mixer. Now, you do have like the cab over version and there's like a traditional style. I don't have it pulled out right now. And if you're asking, yes, you can play with the buttons. Everybody likes to play with the buttons, right? So we can start mixing here. I don't know, is the red, is that like an emergency stop or something? Uh, here, start it back up, hold on, click it again. I see I've already broken it. This is why you don't let me do this. Uh, looks like you can maybe reverse the spin there. Can, does the shoot come out? Uh, oh, hold on. Oh, that unlocked it, so I feel like I could probably pull it open now. Oh, yeah, look at that. Uh, is there actual cement in there? I don't think that's probably coded in, but you never know. I mean, they had to think that we were going to look inside of this at least. Um, no, it's just a big spinning tunnel. But career mode. I mean, that could be used in career mode. That'd be kind of cool, actually. So we're going to walk over here. I would drive that around a little bit. I mean, I'll probably set it off a cliff eventually. Uh, look at this thing. And the reason I pulled this out also is because, I mean, we need a big truck if we're going to be hauling a big load of wood. So let's hop in here. I do love the emblem on the front of this. I don't think the emblem's necessarily a new thing, but it just looks sweet. You got to acknowledge it. Okay. Oh, yep. Bad with lining up trailers. You know, I would swear this game's turning a little bit more into American Truck Sim every day, which, not going to lie, it's cool. I mean, I'd love to see more of it, especially in the career mode. Uh, but yeah, we got a log load. Uh, so there we go. Start pulling it. Uh, imagine these things can get heavy. I don't know. I haven't tested if they can like come off. I don't know. It'd be kind of unique. So the whole fact they're like strapped down. I don't know if you can break them loose. I'm gonna have to run over some logs here. Uh, it's fine. They're just a little bit heavy. Oh, that's not gonna get caught in the uh, rear. Oh, there we go. We're just gonna drag it. It's fine. Uh, it'll eventually dislodge itself. Oh man, it just sounds lovely. It's a awesome looking like configuration here uh, paired with the log trailer love to see it chef's kiss also you can totally hook I think two of these together you see they're in the back uh, let's see if we can get this thing you know I think the best way to test this to see if they'll fall off we just drive straight off the cliff all right here we go oh, oh my goodness <laughs> are they gonna come off oh they do oh I gotta sit up see the cinematic camera it is a work in progress uh, we actually missed out on a bit of the action there, but they break loose. The thing was the straps just disappeared. I didn't know if there was going to be like a physics object and they were going to go like flying. Because uh, they've had like wavy objects before. They could like the flags and stuff uh, on the back of some of the vehicles. Okay, we're going to turn off cinematic camera. We're going to play with it with traffic here in a bit, but I want to be able to see uh, when the crash happens. Okay, we're just going to drive through this. Oh, lovely. Uh, hold on. Let's go into first person real quick. Yeah, buddy. Uh, it's working. Working well. But yeah, I've, uh, I've come to really love uh, the T-Series remake and the whole fact that we just, we're getting a lot of content for it. 
Uh, like I said, I think a lot of this will be incorporated into career mode. Uh, plus, if we ever get, like, bigger maps, or maybe there's going to be, like, some sort of way to connect the maps, they, they probably would never be a whole map. But say you could travel between maps in career mode. Could be hauling something from west coast to east coast. Also, just totally broke the left front there. Uh, it has no steering on it. It's fine. We can just drop the load off here. Let me see if I can get it to shift. Oh, will it? Okay. Well, maybe if I just pull them down. Here we go. Uh, there. I was wondering how much force it was going to take to break the straps there. That's honestly awesome looking. So yeah, check this out. We have a uh, tanker. It's got spear leaf, which I'm pretty sure that's the refinery in West Coast USA uh, on the new island. Which, by the way, you could spot some more of the T series. Like we got a logging uplift, and there's a, a tanker uplift, which looks really sweet. But if I scroll down to trailers, we can find. I believe there's a tanker trailer. Yeah, check these out. These will fit too. So uh, let's get a diesel trailer here. I probably shouldn't have despawned the other one. It's fine. We'll just transform this thing into a uh, tanker. So yeah, we'll just pull these right beside each other. And yeah, you can get a uh, connector to go in between uh, if you want. So let's do the let's do the double axle dolly here. And I'm gonna go into the editor and put these in position. All right, connect those two together there. And then we need to back this up a bit. Oh, we still have a mess all over the map. So yeah, I can get this over to here and we can hook all of these together. There we go. I mean, I wouldn't trust myself hauling this. Probably should have did the single one. I feel like the dual axle back there is just a little too much. I don't even think I can make the turn out of here. And yeah, I love seeing the whole fact that we're getting new configurations and we're getting a lot of new trailers. Uh, so it's kind of like you get two awesome things in this update. Plus you get all the sprinkled in uh, added features and improvements. But yeah, getting the part two of the T-Series and getting the uh, the remaster uh, of the BX series, which, lovely cars, you're probably going to see a lot more of it, especially uh, once we get back into multiplayer, which I'm sure me and Neil will be using those really, really soon. Honestly, this is kind of cool looking. Like, I mean, there's room. You could still connect more of these if you wanted to. I don't know how many of these I would stick together, but just wanted to show you guys some of the new trailers here. But I think we need to head over to West Coast real quick because there's been some improvements. So yeah, the first thing we're going to look at real quick, if you recall, uh, if you've played the game or even on, in my videos, we've gone through this area. It was kind of under construction, so it's now uh, a cement plant or factory, whatever you want to call it. Uh, definitely still looks like they're working on it, but it looks pretty awesome. Uh, the way to get into it, you've got a road here, which I believe this road was here. I don't remember if it was blocked or not. I think you could drive right through this whole section. Uh, but yeah, this whole area here is new. There's another really big thing that's starting to pop up here. Uh, we're going to scroll down and look at this. We have a speed camera. And yes, the speed camera does work. So this is your warning for it. You pull down and there it is. I'm not sure if there's any more here. I'm just aware of this one in particular. So as far as major areas, that is it. I think uh, from what I read, the residential area has seen some improvements. Uh, there's been some improvements on the turnarounds uh, when it comes to the highways. Uh, which, you, If you don't know what I'm talking about, these areas here, uh, maybe they've been smoothed out or maybe the barriers have been extended. I, I don't have a direct comparison. Uh, same with the residential area. Like if I drive through here, it's probably going to mostly look the same. Uh, as far as I know, I don't, I mean, maybe the road is a little bit different. Uh, yeah, actually, I don't remember the house being here. Like, I always thought this uh, little uh, end of the road here kind of just stopped. I could be completely wrong, so I don't want to sit there and say, like, oh, yeah, that's for sure been improved. But we should obviously test out the speed camera real quick. Oh, yeah, that's got a certified fart cannon on the back of it. Okay. Well, I do love the uh, the crackling and the backfiring. Uh, that sounds pretty good. So if you let off. Oh, uh, that's nice. You know, I'm not one for like excessive like burbles and cracking uh, or crackling whenever you drive. Like I do like a little bit of burble when you let off, maybe when you shift. There is such thing as too much, but this is a, a nice blend. I like it. I, also, I, I can't get over how good the car sounds. And it, it's not just because, oh, I just like the way this sounds. It's just, it sounds super clear to me. Okay, I'm pretty sure we can get to that speed camera from here. All right. Try to carry some speed through. Uh, it doesn't have like a bunch of wing. It doesn't have like a winger. I don't know if there's a splitter on this. Uh, some arrow to help me get through this corner. Actually, this is fine. Uh, it's not that fast. All right, so we should catch a speed camera here on the right. 
Let's see how fast we can get through with this one. And oh, do you see it? I show you guys the replay. Yes, it actually flashes. It's just a neat little feature. And if you look up at the top left, you can see that I was speeding. Uh, apparently it was a 35 through here. Last but not least, we're going to hit a wall really, <laughs> really fast. So uh, let's turn on some traffic real quick. I, I want to get some of the cinematic crashes. I feel like that's where uh, the cinematic camera for the crashes shines is when you're involved with other uh, vehicles. All right, let's get moving here. Yeah, there's going to be little things that I miss here and there uh, with this update. There's going to be configurations we haven't gone over. And I think there are some configurations buried in some of the other vehicles uh, that have been changed up and stuff. Yeah, I just want to check out the main things here. Oh, it sounds so freaking good. Like, I think at this point, I can't even put music over this right now. Like, I just, I want to hear the cars. And here we go. Uh, actually, let's try maybe an oncoming. Uh, somebody going to spawn in front of me? I might hit somebody in the rear here. Here we go. And non-cinematic version because Komodo didn't turn it on well I mean you saw what that looked like okay it's on this time <laughs> kind of forgot I turned it off there yeah there's just there's so much going on here like Neiman G is like the ultimate just driving game uh, whether you're racing uh, crashing police chases doing career mode stuff there's a ton to do here uh, hopefully soon we get some AI improvements for the actual like say track racing uh, I'd love to see that. So I feel like there is a good racing game built in here. And, oh, that was lovely. Look at that. See, I told you, it works so much better with the AI traffic. Uh, that was a nice effect. I do think it changes. I don't think it's the same every time. Uh, let's take back off here. What about fender benders? Can we get a... Okay. Yeah, I think there's a threshold for, like, when that camera actually activates. So if you're bumping it into somebody in traffic, I don't think it's going to do the slow-mo spin there. Okay, here we go. Get a little bit more speed. Oh, it's going to be nice. And, oh, look at that. That is like a burnout style crash cam right there. That, oh, it's just lovely. I mean, there's just, there's so much to check out. We'll be having more videos on this coming out soon. Uh, update is released. Go check it out. We'll see you guys next time.